So right now I'm after the video, but you're seeing this clip before. Why that? Well, because the typical fail happened. Um, a plan didn't go as we planned, um, as always on this channel. Uh, so this should have been a how to upgrade hard drive and installation video, but uh, the installation part isn't gonna happen. You will find out in the video. So. We'll make an update on this sometime in the future when I have time, but uh, yeah, with all that said, enjoy! This is my iMac Snow and it has a dead hard drive. It would first boot into the OS and then get stuck and I had to reset it. And then it would only um, show me a blinking folder icon, which uh, means that Either the OS is screwed up or in this case the hard drive is dead because it's also making weird clicking noises and it just shuts off randomly. At least it did that last time. So I will show you now. I'm gonna try to boot it. Makes the bong everything naturally, normal. Tries to spin up. And yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. It's not doing anything. It's spinning, but doesn't click. So yeah, uh, other than that, it does work and we will get it back to working condition. I've got here this spare hard drive. That's a 30 gig max store. And now we'll go into here. And I will show you how it's done. It kind of tried to boot. Oh, the hard drive shut down. Now it's completely gone. Now we lost it completely. Now in order to take this apart, you only need a Phillips screwdriver. Can you believe on an Apple product that you only need a Phillips screwdriver? Well, quite unbelievable, right? So we will only flip it upside down and then we can begin the teardown process. So yeah, we flip it over. Uh, oh, I was wrong. I actually need another tool because this is one of my iMacs that have the um, the the door still attached. That's the door which covers the VGA ports. That we need kind of a either flat hat screwdriver or just a scissor as I do, and you just pry it away. It's like this piece of plastic that covers this. Next up, we got four screws to go out. You need to get four screws out. So here and here. I've done that so many times. I've worked on these types of iMac G3 so much. I know every piece of these. I had all of mine completely torn apart because I cleaned them uh, from the inside also. You know, all the years. Of, of dust and crap build up inside them. It wasn't looking so pretty, so I decided to kind of, you know. So, yeah. Now, when, when this is removed, you will hear a loud snap. And it sounds very much like you break plastic or you mess something up or you did it wrong, but don't worry. This snap is normal, it's very scary, it's scary every time I do it, even though I've done it multiple times, so listen to that. You lift it here, and oh, it doesn't make a crack. Why that? Did this rip or what? Or was this not attached? Now usually, I swear to God, it, it makes this really bad crack sound, and it's, it should be good. Uh, th those are these hinges releasing, and uh, shouldn't worry too much about them. They're quite sturdy, even though this plastic is... 2000 it's still looking good next we get this here that's the emi shield and all you do is you remove the following screws we get four here and another two here so in total six but this one is missing probably dropped it down the imac that can happen fortunately <laughs> oh and it almost happened to be but yeah still caught it oh yeah all you do now is you 
take your hand here and you pull this back. Or did I forget a screw? Is it still kind of... No, didn't forget one. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe this is one of the IMAX I haven't opened up so much. Um, yeah, pull this back and be careful of the VGA port because this can get in the way. You can rip it off if you do it straight or violently, but if you do it gently and you leave this guy alone, everything's good. So here's the motherboard. You can also upgrade RAM if you want. If you want to upgrade RAM, you don't need to go through all this process. There's this convenient door on the back of it, so yeah, but uh, you can also. Here is the hard drive located. There should be four screws, but uh, since this is my computer, of course they're not. And they're also wrong screws, but they hold the hard drive in place, so not a problem. But before you do this, you unplug the power and the IDE connector, and then you begin unscrewing the HDD. Apple always takes the cake for very weird and sometimes stupid engineering on the inside of your machines because I mean look at this this hard drive is up in the air so when you release it with the when you you know unscrew it it's gonna fall down and you, there's not a whole lot you can do with it against that other than you hold it with your fingers or so I kind of feel like I really put the wrong screw in here shouldn't have put that one in here that is a very very big for for the hole. Anyway, now it fell, and all you do now is you pull it back out. And uh, if you want, you can remove the RAM, but uh, you don't really need to. Man, this is stuck pretty good. What the hell is going on here? Okay. Usually this slides out like right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't I haven't touched this iMac in five years i don't know so maybe that's that's why it was stuck so good here is the the culprit 20 gig seagate yep it's dead nothing you can do to resurrect it it's got this kind of what is even that like like it's wearing something <laughs> okay so that will go up to the defeated the defeated pieces of hardware see there another hard drive another one there and here this one is the, the latest club member anyhow now you do everything in reverse as I fix it would say <laughs> it's actually one thing I don't like about their website because sometimes you're not sure you know but nevertheless you uh, Make sure that you flip it upside down because, you know, Apple thinks that's the most normal position to put in a hard drive. So when Johnny Ive, who designed this machine, tells you to do, do that, you do that. And then you just put it back in. This is a little easier because it's slimmer. But then again, not so much easier because now you will actually need to hold this. And uh, man, I usually had a friend helping me on this step. So I think this is the first time I ever do that alone. Um, so we will have to line up, align the holes. I also, why, why am I so careful with tightening these? Well, these screws, they strip so fucking easily. I just messed with it again. Now you probably say, oh, you get the wrong size screwdriver. Yes, but it does it with every screwdriver. It doesn't matter if you have the right one or not, so. Just be careful, and if it's not 100% stuck, then don't worry, because when you flip it over to its normal position, it's gonna lay in there nicely anyway, and so, other than some hard drive vibrations, there's there's nothing that can get any worse, so it's gonna maybe vibrate and make more noises, but you know what? This is long, not a daily computer anymore, so that's not a problem. I hook this back up, and the power, and you're done. Now you do everything, as I said, in reverse. Also the shield. Again, make sure you, you clear the VGA. And then you need to kind of fill your way in there and you hit it a bit so, you, so it gets all tight. You just sit in there very tight. Next step are the screws back in. 
Yeah. Now it's back together. And then you screw the long ones back in first, maybe, to tighten it down. Also, make sure that you don't forget to align these here. Because if you don't, then in the worst case, you could even crack your, your plastic. But if you do, it shouldn't be too pro much of a problem. Then it should be nice and tight like this. And nothing like should have panel gaps or so. So yeah, then it screws together nicely. If it, uh, you know, if it doesn't, then you need to work at your alignment. That's the shield thingy. There's these two hooks and yeah, this is it. So there you go, guys. The iMac is fully upgraded. You flip it over. And uh, now it's time for the OS installation. I will show you how it's done. So before we install the OS, we'll try to boot it with the existing hard drive. Maybe it has OS 10 on it. Just curious. What the hell? What the fuck? Huh. Now I am fucking. All right, now it's spun up. What? What is this making for noises? Oh, this is horrible. All right, maybe this hard drive is dead too, but I don't think I made any mistakes on disassembling this. Ah, what the fuck? Okay, well, we need to troubleshoot a bit, guys. I will f nevertheless start the installation process, so it didn't boot. Well, what a surprise. What you will do is you will plug in the Firewire port on in the iMac and in the other Mac and it also works with Intel Macs and still have Firewire. Now what you do now is you reboot your your donor machine or your machine that provides the optical drive. You reboot that and you hold down the T key and that will act as a target disk for the other iMac but also it will act as a sharing for a sharing server for your for the optical drive. And that's what we want. So you hold the T, we keep holding it. There it is. There is the firewire logo and it will stay like this. It will do nothing. And now we can use the optical drive with the G3 iMac. So um Got your Mac OS Jaguar and now, oh God, before you ask me, where is the ISO? Can you provide the ISO? Go to winworldpc.com and there you download it. But you know, back in my days, we had to use Google and, uh, you know, uTorrent and stuff. You have it so good these days. <sighs> no, it's for real. Just stop asking me that. It's getting on my nerves. Anyway, now you only put that into your... DVD machine, call it now this way, <laughs> and then you boot the AMAC. But you can't just boot it normally, you need to tell it somehow to uh, read the, the CD. So, what you do is you boot it and you hold down the Alt key, the Option key, and you keep holding it and keep holding it. Look, I forgot a screw, don't forget a screw. Um, keep holding it, and there it is. There is the menu we want. So there it, uh, there it shows you the the available partitions. This is the Linux partition of the PowerBook. This is the PowerBook operating system partition, and this is the one we want. Uh, the install disk. And unfortunately, maybe I put a dead hard drive in here. I don't know, 
but it, it doesn't it doesn't see the internal one but we'll not give up yet we'll only give up when when it is at the disk utility so we click here and we select the Jaguar and now we wait and we wait and we wait until we see the OS menu yeah and this is what you do not want to see guys exactly yeah this is a failed boot screen and it makes this clicking which just uh, it's very frightening the poor hard drive doesn't want to start up so i'm gonna i'm gonna end it there guys unfortunately because i'm lacking time what i would do now is I would try and to see if this is really dead. I would put it in one of my Power Macs and try to boot it. Um, uh, but I don't have the time. But nevertheless, I showed you how it's done. How you can upgrade the hard drive. I didn't do anything wrong. Um, and uh, yeah. But uh, yeah. Well, what can it be else? I don't know. Maybe a loose connector. You know, these machines, they freak out when there's something loose in them. I know that. So maybe... Maybe they didn't hook a cable up all the way or something. Or it's a bad cable, you know. That can happen also. Very rare, but it does happen. Um, so, yeah, guys. I uh, need to leave it. Uh, leave you with this. I uh, will make an update. I'm curious myself on what the issue really is. It can't be that the next iMac is failing when this one is basically all failed. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's sad. But um, I need to get on with other stuff so i can't really do that right now but we'll do that in the future so thanks for watching and see you later